Nick, huh? I'm really well. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. You're yeah. keeping busy, I understand. Very busy. You got yeah, this uh, movie coming out, and you're appearing on a television show with Sex in the City. Is that right? Sex in the City. Yeah, I think they're going to put me on sometime in July. I've got seven or eight shows that I'm doing. So. What's your? W w is this something you're looking forward to? Yeah, very much. Although I'm, you know, it it, it is a little nerve wracking because in my when I watch the show, most of the men they have on there, they Ultimately, they have to appear in some stage of undress, you know, so mm -hmm. um, I've been a little worried about that. You're worried about that? Yeah. Are you ashamed yeah. and horrified about well, your body? Well, you know, not really. Not really. I mean, I've, I've done it in the past. That's okay. I you mean, uh, you know, you can say if there's... Uh, is it all right to say that? <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Let's are you worried about... Are you someone who's comfortable uh, in, a, in a naked state? Well, you know, I mean, I've done a number of things where I have been, you know, in a naked state. And right, in and, front of cameras. And, yeah, in front of cameras and, and, and everyone. Uh, blue no velvet, way I would you know? ever do that. I know. Really? You've, you've been naked. I, I, I'm not naked in the privacy of my own home, ever. Really? <laughs> You choose to have chosen to be that. naked. Uh, you've done this before. Well, I've had nakedness thrust upon me, Conan. Basically, I haven't. That was sort of a Shakespeare rap. Never mind. Right. <laughs> I understood. Some men are yeah. Never mind. Yeah, right. Your Honor, I had nakedness <laughs> thrust upon yeah. me. Yeah. It's not my fault. So, do, do you know for a fact that you're going to have to be nude? No, no, this? no, no, no. For a fact, we'll see. But well, I'm now working you've given with. I'm working, an idea that you should uh, be naked. Well, if, they're, if they're watching, I'm in trouble. No, I'm working with Kristen Davis, who plays Charlotte. So mm -hmm. we'll have a little thing that goes on. So. Oh, that'll be. Yeah, yeah it should be, be good. Nice. It should be yeah. very good. What's you so. know? I, I was uh, actually today. Uh, in preparation for the interview, we were talking about you, me and some of the other producers and random yeah. people I picked off the street, of course. and <laughs> we were talking about um, Dune. I remember the, actually one of the first times I think I saw you, the first time I ever saw you was in Dune, which yeah, would have come one. out, what year would that be? Early 1980s? Uh, 84. came 84. out in 84. Yeah. And I remember it was, I've never had an experience like this ever before in a movie. You show up at the movie theater when you went to mm -hmm. see Dune, this, this big sci-fi movie right. that, that starred you. And you get there, and they hand you a crib sheet of things that you have to know to understand the it's movie. A, gl a glossary. And they a glossary, <laughs> and they start telling you you have to study this before right, the film before begins. Ahead. Right. Which has only ever happened one other time, which was Biodome. Uh, <laughs> and how did you? I mean, <clears throat> and, and it was just, and you had to study it. I remember I got nervous. Right. I was just there to see it. I've heard this movie's really good. Well, well Conan, cool. what, what, what? I mean, going going back to that time, what was the the other name? I'll quiz you. What was the other name of the planet Dune that was on the glossary there? Do you recall? No idea. See? At the time, I could. Do you know, you Andy? Have, You're good at. No, I, I don't. Arrakis. Remember. Arrakis. Could Arrakis. Say that? There was things like spice. Spice is the rare mineral which right, is right, only right. found on Bordubar. Bordubar, <laughs> a galaxy linked to Dordi Darder. <laughs> you must travel through Baba Wu oh. to get to Dordi Darder. And I was there looking at it, and I was nervous. And but my brother was like, the movie's starting. And I'm like, I'm not ready. The lights were going down, and yeah. you were panicked. It was panic. It was sheer terror. But I enjoyed well, the film. Well, good. I'm glad you did. Another good. film, uh, which I uh, needed no preparation for, <laughs> was... Uh, I can know what he's going to say. Was Showgirls. <laughs> yeah. Showgirls. Now, this right. is a movie where right. I, would, I, would, I would think you'd have a lot of guys coming up to you and like nudging you and like, ah, that was a good job. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it was, uh, it was. What, is right this bothering now? you right oh, now? Yeah, uh, right now. I'm sitting with, ah, <laughs> come back here. Wait, wait, I got Doug. <laughs> Got it. Sorry. No, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a, a fairly uh, painless experience working on it. It's a little <laughs> yeah. more painful when I watched it, but it was, uh, it was, uh, no, but, <laughs> but beautiful watching. women. No, I would go to work in the morning and it was, uh, when I was working and, um, you've probably had this experience. You go to work and it's, you know, mostly naked girls, you know, dancing. I mean, I'm sure that's... No? Not, not like... Yes! It. It's, it's, right. Because that's what yes, they... That's, that's why you do what... That's why we do this show. Do. And, uh, what are you talking about? I get here and it's Andy eating beans out of a can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, sad state of affairs. Why do you yeah. eat beans out of a can, Richter? <laughs> Because you love beans and I won't share. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh, now, of course, I still yeah. maintain to this day, I always was a big television fan, I still maintain yeah. to this day that Twin Peaks may be TV at its finest. I've just been riveted mm. by, by that show. I just thought the look show. of the show, the performances, the, the yeah. writing. Do you, I would think that there would be a lot of Twin Peaks heads out there, people that that know the show a backwards lot. and forwards? Yeah, a lot. And, and they still, um, you know, Cherry Pie is still a reference that they continually go back to. And I'm... Because the I agent <clears throat> loved, he loved that Cherry Pie. Cherry Pie and coffee. And honestly, I, w I wasn't really much of a Cherry Pie fan. Um, <laughs> Great. Yeah, which was, was tough. It was a lot of acting. 
I was more like, can it, could it be a key lime pie thing? <laughs> right. And, they, and I, then I thought, but setting the whole thing in, in Miami wouldn't really work. It wasn't the same <laughs> right, sort of right. thing, you know. It's got to have that Pacific trees, and, yeah, feel. So it was a whole different kind of thing. So. That would be hard to be an actor who becomes famous. One of the things that you're famous for is playing a character who loved cherry pie. Right. You know that whenever you go to a restaurant, they're like, Kyle's here, cherry, cherry pie. pie. And, right. you, like, and you hate it. Not, not, not a big fan. Uh, you know, I eat it if I have to, but it's not one of my favorite pies. You could have played a character that loved haggis. <laughs> That's true. That's true, which have been more difficult. Have you ever tried haggis? Tried never it? had haggis. Really? It's very high in cholesterol. <laughs> That's why you it don't. It is. It's boiled, what is it? It's boiled cow intestine. Is it's that right? No, it's sheep. a stomach filled with barley and meat. But it's a, it's it's a, is it a cow or a sheep? I think it's sheep. And they get it to eat barley and meat for a couple of days. Right. So, so they have a happy couple of days. So cows are worried when they're like, have more barley and meat, huh? Like something, something. <laughs> are you going to turn me into Agus? <laughs> no! In okay. fact, I, it's true. I think it's actually sheep, but... Uh, it was, I did a thing with Mike Myers, and he made reference to that, and he said it seems like all of Scottish cuisine is based on a dare. <laughs> which is... <laughs> It's kind of true when you think I dare about you it. to have it. That's right. Oh, no. That's the whiskey, very important part of the whole diet. The, uh, we have a clip here from Hamlet. This is, this is actually a pretty cool cast It's for a Hamlet. great cast. You're in yeah. this. Bill Murray Bill Murray's in is it. playing who? Polonius? Bill Murray plays Polonius, right. which is a great bit of casting. Sam Shepard is in it. Ethan Hawke, of course, plays Hamlet. Right. Julie Stiles is, is Ophelia. Diane Van Norris. Yeah, it's really a good group. Lee have Schreiber's in it. So. We have a clip here. Is there anything we need to... It's, it's interesting to set up a Shakespeare yes. play, but, but which, which scene are Harder we about to see? Still to um, This is a scene where I am uh, questioning Hamlet about where he has left the, what's pretty self-explanatory, he's killed Polonius in a fit of rage, mm -hmm. and now the body is hidden somewhere and I'm sort of trying to find it. He's getting, he's getting me very angry trying to find out where the body is, so. Let's we'll take a look at this <coughs> clip from Hamlet. Oh, Hamlet. Where is Polonius? At supper. At supper. Where? Not where he eats, but where he's eaten. Where is Polonius? In heaven. Sent thither to see. If your messenger find him not there, seek him in the other place yourself. You shall know him as you go upstairs into the lobby. Go seek him there. He will stay till you come. I love that setting in the laundromat. Very nice. And that was a last minute, a uh, last minute choice, in fact. So very effective. Shakespeare always intended that scene to be in a laundromat. In fact, he did. <laughs> if you read the liner notes, it's there. It's there. Hamlet uh, opens this Friday in right. New York and Los Angeles and in selected cities. May 19th. Kyle, it's, it's always great when you come by. Going, thanks yeah, for thanks so me. much for being here. So Kyle nice. McLaughlin, everybody. We'll take a break. When we come back, Guided by Voices will be here.